Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make transparent navigation bar. So this is what we're going to be building today. So here we have a navigation bar with a transparent background. You can see the image uh, through it. And if we hover on these buttons or these links, you can see that we have a nice animation. Okay, now that you have seen this, let's go to our code editor and make it happen. So, first of all, let's go into our body and place a div. And the class for our div will be nav section. Inside of this, let's place a nav element, it will be our navigation. And inside of our nav, let's place a unordered list and if we have unordered list we have list items in them so li and let's place an anchor tag inside of these list items let's set the href attribute to pound sign because these will only be dummy links they will not lead anywhere and the text for it will be home and we'll in total have four buttons or links so let's highlight this and copy it three more times this one will say about services and contact you can save it go ahead into our browser refresh it yes as you can see we have our links and that will be it for our html now let's head to css so Let's make a basic reset as always set our margins and paddings to zero then let's target our body first of all let's set the background color for it and the color code for it will be 87 CEFA and let's change the font so font family this will be the first uh, font and to be honest i don't know how to spell it so let's just leave it at that and the fallback for it will be calibri and send serif we can save it we can look what we have so far it is looking better so let's continue with our nav section so let's target it so nav section the width for it will be 100% and that's 100% of browsers width let's give it some padding of top and bottom uh, 20% and left and right zero and we will give it a padding just to give our navigation some breathing room and let's set our background image in so url and mine is called image.jpg and by the way i will provide all the resources including this image in the description below so if you want to follow along go ahead into description and find it and the last thing is let's set the background size to cover so that the image covers the nav section element let's go into our browser refresh it yes so far we have as you can see placed our image in so let's continue let's target nav ul give it a width of 900 pixels and that will be the width for our navigation bar let's set the margin to zero auto to center align it in the web page let's give it a background color of black for now but we will change it later on to get that effect then let's target our list items so nav ulli set the list style to none because we want to get rid of those bullet points and let's set them display as inline block so that they're positioned right next to each other we can save it have a look at it yes as you can see we have what we wanted so let's continue and what we're going to do is center align the text here and that way we will uh, center align these li elements you can as you can see we have center aligned them now let's target our anchor tag so nav ulli a first of all let's display them as a block elements let's set the text decoration to none to get rid of that underline give it some padding of 40 pixels top and bottom and 60 left and right font size for it will be 20 pixels let's transform the text to uppercase 
font weight for these will be 300 and let's also change the color for these code will be 323 642 we can save it let's have a look at it yes as you can see we have our buttons and placed in so let's continue the next thing is let's give it that uh, uh, transition effect for our button so transition and we'll target background color animation will happen over 0 0.5 seconds and the function the animation function will be ease now let's just highlight this copy it paste it here and once we hover our anchor tags we want the background color to change to white for now let's save it go ahead and look in our browser refresh it yes as you can see we have our animation in and the last thing is we need to set in that background for our navigation and let's give those round corners so first of all let's start with our round corners so for our ul let's give a border radius radius and border radius will be 63 pixels we can save it have a look at it yes you can see we have those nice round corners and the last thing is let's set that proper background color in and we're going to use is rgba colors and to get the white color we need to set all of these colors so red green and blue to 255 and if you want to get a black color you would set all these numbers to zero so 255 and the last thing we need to set in is alpha number and that's the opacity for our background color and in this case we'll have 50 percent opacity so i'm going to place in 0 0.5 we can save it take a look in, in our browser and yes as you can see we have our background color and the last thing is we need to change this hover effect because what i want is the same color the white color but the alpha property or the opacity for it will be 0 0.3 or 30 percent let's save it so go ahead into our browser refresh it yes as you can see you have this smooth transparent effect and that will be it for this tutorial as you saw it was wasn't that hard to make if you break down it into smaller pieces and i think the effect that we achieved is really nice looking and gives a really professional and beautiful effect and look to our web page and yes don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you already haven't done it to get all of my latest videos and yes thank you for watching and see you next time bye